An important field of physics is the diffraction of X-rays by crystals. Back in 1913, Max von Lauer suggested that the regular array of atoms in a crystal could act as a three-dimensional diffraction grating for X-rays. The father and son team of William and Lawrence Bragg were able to establish the relationship between the structure of the crystal and the diffraction pattern that the scattered X-rays would produce. This won them the Nobel Prize in 1915. The Braggs used the fact that a crystal is a regular repeating pattern of atoms. They predicted the angles of maxima in a diffraction pattern by mathematically deriving an expression for interference between different planes of atoms in the crystal. To see how it works, consider two parallel incident rays that are monochromatic and are in phase. One ray reflects off the top surface of the crystal. The other ray gets through the top plane but then hits an atom in the plane underneath it and reflects from that. The two reflected rays combine to form an interference pattern on the screen. If the spacing between the planes is d, then the path length difference is d sine theta, where theta is the angle of the ray to the surface of the crystal, not to the normal. Now since the lower ray does a return trip through that top layer of crystal, its extra path length is 2d sine theta. And the condition for constructive interference to get a maximum in the pattern is that 2d sine theta is a whole number of wavelengths. So 2d sine theta equals m lambda. This condition is known as Bragg's law. Now here the crystal is acting as a transmission grating so they have a very very thin slice of it and monochromatic x-rays which means just one wavelength are shone through it and the diffraction pattern appears on the screen. This shows the diffraction pattern for a single crystal of beryl which is beryllium aluminium silicate. Because it was exposed with camera film, the black dots actually represent the points of constructive interference, so they were the bright spots. Crystallographers can deduce the crystal structure by analysing the positions and intensities of the various spots on the pattern. So we now know that the crystal structure of beryl looks like the picture on the right. X-ray crystallography made it possible for the first time to actually know how atoms are arranged in solids. This is the Lowy pattern for Rubisco, also known as ribulose biphosphate carboxylase oxygenase, which is an enzyme that is present in plants that takes part in the process of photosynthesis. The image on the right shows part of the structure of Rubisco. Now to show how the equation works we'll do an example. What is the smallest Bragg angle for x-rays of wavelength 30 picometers which is 30 by 10 to the minus 12 to reflect from reflecting planes placed 0.3 nanometers apart in a calcite crystal? We use the Bragg equation, so we have m lambda equals 2d sine theta, and we know that lambda equals 30 picometers, which is 30 by 10 to the minus 12 meters, and the spacing d is 0 0.3 nanometers. Now we're looking for the smallest angle, so that means m equals 1. So we have sine theta equals lambda over 2d, which is 30 by 10 to the minus 12 over 2 times 0 0.3 times 10 to the minus 9, which is 0 0.05. 
So that gives us theta is 2.87, which is taken down to two significant figures, about 2.9 degrees.